Um, I'm Dennis and I work with SOS Ministries as the estate manager. But I praise the Lord for Shannon having gotten him here. I see his heart of ministry and uh, how he, his heart of leadership where he's, have, he's growing me into a servant leader rather than somebody who is just to sit on my chair and show them and the Lord is using Shannon and the SOS Ministries to reach uh, the whole of Uganda almost, but in particular the remote area of Luero, Kubamitwe has been uh, blessed by the Lord and Shannon having him here with Hey, this is Paul. I'm speaking from, uh, I'm part of SOS. We are now in a, a women's conference as SOS. We are here to empower people, to serve people, to help out people in different categories. Uh, we ask you guys to pray for SOS ministries so that we can get all the provisions, so that we can move on all the projects and develop the ministry and empower people so they can love God. And we pray that you guys always pray with us as we develop the ministry and empower people in Uganda. Thank you guys very much. I send my regards to you all, uh, to Chris, uh, John and the other guys. Thank you very much. So my name is Jotham Tizam Wong. SOS has impacted many lives of people, uh, especially with the word of God. And where we are now, uh, everyone thinks that uh, uh, SOS is the next uh, East African revival, you have a belief. Because uh, there are many, many churches in Uganda, there are many, many pastors in Uganda, but they all preach what they want. The Bible can be there, but opening it is a problem. So too many of us have learned how to open the Bible, how to preach, and uh, how to see God's word from the text uh, from SOS. And uh, we are so happy for the work of SOS, how they are now saying we want to go and listen to the word. And uh, so we are happy for SOS, and we think that uh, uh, there is much that is going to happen in Uganda because of the work of SOS and we are so happy for the support and for the love you are showing to Ugandanese. We are happy and thank God and uh, praise him for your love and continue praying that God may bless you and uh, encourage you uh, to and continue blessing you uh, to love us and to share with us and uh, so we thank God so much. Charles um, yeah. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you. My name is John. I wish you a Merry Christmas and I greet all people in California. I'm Danny and we greet you guys in Faith Bible Church and we wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, hi friends, my name is Bosco. Uh, I'm so glad to be in a partnership working with uh, Shannon. And the Lord has really called for a powerful message, you know, for this nation of Uganda. And uh, for young people like us, you know, it's an encouragement. And uh, for the church in Uganda, it's a powerful thing that the people need to be taught and they need to learn about the Bible. I like the emphasis that SOS is putting on Bible. And that is where the truth is. And we want to encourage you, friends, to keep praying uh, with us and uh, for the church uh, in Uganda and for the ministry entire in Uganda and the SOS ministries. Uh, we pray that the, you know, the Lord continues to strengthen you back there and as you pray for us, we keep praying with you. Thank you. My name is I'm, I'm Edward Chint. Uh, I'm working with SOS ministries. I'm working as a translator in the conferences and uh, in the church. I am working as an assistant pastor or an elder in the church. Uh, I like so much the work we are doing, and I like so much what Shannon is doing in Uganda. Actually, it is a very great work. And uh, when I see how God is doing in our society, in our Uganda, 
it is so great to us and we like it so much. God is doing a great work in our church and in many people in our society in Kubamitwe, most of them they were non-believers. They are not knowing God, they were drunkard, they were beating their wives day and night and there was no hope at all in the village. But when I see how God is transforming the people, how people confessing Christ as their Lord, so it makes me happy and, I, and it, it gives me a heart to continue praising my God because he is doing a very great work in our church and in our community. And, and we are loving you so much. We thank you so much, you my friends, for helping us, for supporting our ministry. And I pray you please continue doing that. Continue helping us. Continue, continue. empower our ministry, that God may continue to help us and use us. And also, I pray that, I ask you please, pray for us. We need your prayers, you, you guys. We ask, please help us in all, in all whatever means you can, so that the ministry of God can be well, well grown up and it can help, help the people of Uganda. Okay. I'm Simon from Uganda. I enjoy Sharon's work. He's doing a lot, he's impacting our village. I'm a village boy in the place. Ah, generally, at first uh, I saw Shannon as hard, but he's so good because he's just putting pressure on you to know the word of God. But at first I thought it's just hard, but <laughs> it's just passion. He has a passion of showing us the word of God. And I like it. Canon Christopher Wataka, a work with Shannon. I started working with the channel since 19. We thank also Kevin when he came with the <laughs> Kaila. They visited us a long way. They have been properly, so the work is too big. And the people are very thirsty and hungry for the word of God. So we need more support, we need prayers, we need yeah, more to come and teach because people are very uh, uh, thirsty for the word of God. Uh, those who have come from far away from uh, America, after the conference, I know they will be back, going back. We wish them a safe journey. And also to come back again because the way they have participated with us, the way they have taught us, we still need their support, spiritually and physically. God bless. God bless you. Yeah. When after preaching, I, I felt like crying. I had tears in my soul. Just came to him and said, that Shannon, I'm really, really a sinner, and I have realized it from, to, from today onwards. I know that I'm a sinner, so what's the solution? He told me that I'm not God. You just <laughs> go on your knees, repent for everything that's in your heart, and pray God to help you. After that, we pray, we pray me and you as a group. He prayed for me after. I continued being in his family, a loving family, which is a, a Christian one, like giving you encouragement whenever you are stressed. So it really, really brought to my heart back from the thinking of the world that any time I'll be dying, any time maybe I can earn a living from those world things. So. That's how I got like, my salvation. Okay. Um, I am Kabma Solomon. I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior. And um, my wife is working for SOS as the administration and finance. And uh, me, myself, I also find myself trying to serve the Lord and to serve the people. And uh, we are encouraged here in Uganda to have Shannon and the family and the all SOS team were rendering various services to the people and uh, what they have done, they are making the people understand the word of God from the Bible, to know the truth, to know that Jesus Christ is our Savior, He died for us, 
and his son, his blood was shed for our sins and that is of God. Yes. And when we know that, we know that at the end of the day we are saved from the wrath of God and uh, we are honored to be among the children of God and it is amazing how the Lord is opening up most of the people and going into their hearts so that they can know more what the Lord has in future for them and uh, you can see even right now we are like in the, the women's conference and uh, many of them have turned up because they are yearning to know what he is and what he has done for them and what he is willing to do for them in the future. And, uh, and uh, working with Shannon, being with him, the many things we have learned. Like me personally and even other people, we have known how to love the people, how to serve different people, and how to try to inform them who the Lord is and what he has for them. And then at the end of the day, within this process, we're having uh, like Bible studies whereby you sit down, you read the word of God in an order. Like maybe like Sunday services, we are in the book of Mark. We move chapter by chapter. Yes. In that way, it is enabling us to know the word of God. But right now, in the coming of SOS into Uganda, people are being revealed of what the truth is. Now there is people here, and when they hear, they know that this is what the Lord wants us to do in our lives. That it is the Lord that reigns in our lives. It is the Lord that is able to do each and everything in our lives. And we have to love Him. Loving Him means serving other people, showing other people that the Lord is there for them and is willing to go ahead with them. And we like to thank you all of you, the people of Uganda, we are honored to come to know about this truth and to know that, that Jesus Christ is the King and the King of all kings and for all that he has done in our lives. And we thank you for the SOS ministry, for supporting SOS ministry. Please thank you so much and may the Lord bless you abundantly. Thank you. you okay. Hi Faith Bible, my name is Anthony Basava. Uh, I work with uh, SOS Ministries, I work as a community manager, but uh, I will speak for the Bible training because I also am part of Bible training. At the moment we are at the Women's Conference, it's a conference we've set out for women across the nation and I think we've had about 400 women that have come and we are having a great time with them, we are teaching them the Word of God and the reception, they are really hungry and eager to learn. And we have several other conferences we, we put up, we are just in a week, from now we are going to have a Luero conference where we are going to be having about 400 pastors from the Luero Diocese and we will be uh, teaching them from the Book of Romans. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, Romans chapter 5 through 8 and we're excited for that and even next year we are going to have a couple of conferences so the Lord is doing a great work uh, through SOS Ministries and we are so thankful for your support my department is community uh, outreach and what we do there is we try to reach the ministry, we try to reach the community around us, impoverished, uh, both spiritually and uh, economically and even socially. And so we try to demonstrate the gospel through acts of service, uh, emergency healthcare, and uh, also we put up we put up community activities like movie nights and all that just to reach them and uh, we have Bible studies, we work with them. And uh, we, are so, we are so thankful for the support you, you've given us. Please continue praying for us as we continue praying for you. And we pray that uh, one day you may have a chance to come and uh, see what we do. And maybe we also may have a chance to come and see what you do. Thank you and may God be your shield as, as as he is our shield as well. Take care. Bye.